Okay, everyone. What are we looking at here? The top 100 cover songs. Okay, uh, this is uh, going to be topic of a new. Uh, um, this is going to be the topic of a uh, one of our uh, podcasts here. I'm going to try to turn the screen around if I can, so y'all can see me. Swipe down to stop. No, I'd swipe double tap. I can double tap. And here I am. All right. Um, some of the greatest uh, mu- some of the greatest songs out there are actually remakes. And I don't like the cover- word cover song at all. My- by the way, my name is Lou Lombardi, uh, a.k.a. Ludini from the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus. And um, you can go to LudiniRockandRollCircus.com to join our, uh, to check out our podcast and see everything. I, you know, sorry about the glare from my glasses, but if I don't have the glasses on, I'm not going to be able to <clears throat> read kind of what I have written here or what I have up here on the screen. But I love, I, I'm totally fascinated when somebody takes a, a song and does their own thing with it. Um, and, you know, one of the artists that uh, who gets remade a lot, and they're always better, is Bob Dylan. You know, there's an old expression, you know, anybody sings Dylan better than Dylan, right? And there's, there's tons of them, but, you know, going all the way back to the to Jimi Hendrix's version of All Along the Watchtower. Which is that? That's a that's a a remake. It's a cover. Um, I don't like, but I don't like to wear cover because um, cover sort of implies that you're just kind of like not really doing anything with the song. A remake is like, well, let's, what can I put my? I can put my own spin on it. And so, uh, going back to the Jimi Hendrix Bob Dylan uh, connection there, Hendrix really did his own thing with. Um, <clears throat> that song. He didn't just kind of, you know, do Bob Dylan's version. He made it. He made it his own. In fact, in in many ways, uh, Dylan's version or Hendrix's version is more iconic, way more than Bob Dylan's, of course. But there's a lot of great um, remakes out there of songs. So think about like what Johnny Cash did with Hurt, um, and what he did with uh, Your Own Personal Jesus. You know, I mean, those are. <clears throat> The, the, in some ways, those have become like songs uh, or, or, or sort of statements completely in and of themselves. Um, but there, there are tons of them out there. Um, you know, it's, it's from uh, fun things like uh, in Istanbul, not like Constantinople, by uh, They Might Be Giants. That's really fun. To uh, Aerosmith's version of Come Together. I mean, a lot of people have redone Beatles songs, too. And uh, some of them have become uh, really, really powerful. Um for instance, they got to get you into my life by Earth, Wind, and Fire. It's like it's kind of become its own thing. It's uh, beyond kind of what the Beatles were doing with it. Um, uh, there's some that I don't like. You know, I never really dug Pearl Jam's Last Kiss, um, but um, there are some other very cool ones like. Uh, Cream's version of the Robert Johnson Crossroads. This is another artist uh, who got covered a lot. Um, <clears throat> and the music, uh, you know, that, that the people have covered, uh, you know, by him has become, uh, you know, more iconic than the artist himself. Robert Johnson, he's another really uh, great e- example of that. Um, but there's some fun ones, like how about uh, Tom Petty? You guys remember Tom Petty's remake of uh, So You Want to Be a Rock and Roll Star? Cool jam, cool, very cool jam. Um what about Sweet Jane by the Cowboy Junkies? You guys remember that? The Faith, uh, the, uh, the uh, Lou Reed song? You uh, 2 uh, doing uh, Patti Smith's Dancing Barefoot. Um, what about the Red Hot Chili Peppers doing Higher Ground? I mean, some people actually like that version of better than the original uh, by Stevie Wonder. Um, some songs there are more known by the fact that they're remakes like Come On, Feel the Noise by Quiet Riot. I mean, do you even know the Slade version? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, Van Halen's version of Pretty Woman. So there's tons of them. But some, what are some of your favorite ones? Um, <clears throat> we're going to do an entire podcast uh, devoted to uh, the great remakes of all time. So uh, if you have some that you're interested in, uh, go ahead and uh, message me or just... Uh, or just uh, tag this uh, uh, Periscope right here, or, or when it gets up on YouTube, just leave some comments. And we're also going to put it up on Facebook, and you can check it all out. But uh, think about some of what are some of your favorite 
remakes. Um, it can be a lot of fun to hear a band cover something, and then there are some that are kind of embarrassing. I'm not like a personal fan of Pet Shop's Vo Pet Shop Boys, uh, uh, Always on My Mind by Willie Nelson. I think that's, uh, <clears throat> I think that could have been left alone. <laughs> but, you know, some of them are very cool. Um, uh, one of the ones that uh, I don't see on anybody's list here is Dwight Yoakam's remake of uh, Suspicious Minds. I think that's like freaking sweet. And then there's some that are kind of uh, forgotten ones that, uh, you know, maybe you, you haven't heard of in a long time. Like, you guys remember A Gold Dust Woman by uh, Hole? That was a, uh, a really, uh, you know, that was, that was a big hit. And, of course, there's uh, Lenny Kravitz's version of American Woman. Um, I think that's a kind of a good example of somebody who, I think, you know, it's a very cool remake, um, but he sticks pretty close to it. He doesn't, like, go and turn it into, like, reggae or something like that. He, he pretty much does, sticks pretty close to it. So this is really fun. So let me know, um, and we'll, we, we will talk about it on, our, uh, on an upcoming version of the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus. Please go to LudiniRockandRollCircus.com. Listen to my, all my podcasts. Uh, right now we've got up some great interviews with uh, the band The Vaughn and the producer um, uh, Jim Huff. Uh, great music podcasts up right now. Uh, uh, last one we did features the, the women of rock. Uh, you, don't want to miss, you definitely don't want to miss that. Uh, my name is Lou Lombardi. Please check out the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and we will catch you next time on Periscope. Off the cuff, crazy, right? I'm wearing glasses. Okay, how do I turn this off? Jane!